Hey Punchers, it's me, Hank, and I am here at Empire Parkour with Tyler, one of the owners and coaches. Now, for everybody out in uh, TV land who don't know uh, how cool parkour is, <laughs> could you tell, what is parkour? In its most basic form, it's just getting from one point to another as fast as you can using your own body. But that definition's kind of gotten muddied over the years. So for us, it's all just movement. Um, you've probably seen like Ninja Warrior. Oh yeah. And you've seen parkour all over TV now, so it encompasses many different things, not just moving fast. There's flips involved, there's strength training involved, and all that goes in between. Cool. So what got you interested in opening Empire, and then maybe walk us through the steps of like, how did Empire come to be? So as a community, we've been training together for quite a few years now. Um, and we taught classes out of various gymnastics and cheerleading clubs over the years. But as our community grew, we were running out of space to teach out of those places. So we started, I think, maybe five years ago, trying to start the process of what it would be like to get our own facility. And then three years ago, we actually made it a reality and opening up this place on September 2019. September 2019, out here on Marquis Drive. Now, how many um, owners or partners do you have here? Uh, there are three of us as owners. Three owners and a ton of coaches. And I know that you've got lessons going on all the time. I know uh, Castle, uh, my son, he's taking lessons right now. Um, so the first uh, speed competition that you guys are doing uh, has just happened. And the second one is coming up at the end of November. Is that right? That's correct. Yeah, November. I want to say 29th, but I could be wrong on that. So tell us all about that. So with parkour competitions, there are usually three, three versions of competitions, skill, speed, and style. In this instance, we're focusing on speed, which sort of goes down to that basic definition I mentioned earlier, getting from one point to another as fast as you can, just using only parkour skills. So we're going to have a course set up from one point of the gym to the other with three different age groups. The course will be the same across the age groups for the most part, but with different changes as the skills increase. So the students will be starting from one end to the other, one end of the gym moving to the other as fast as they can with adapt adaptations going up and down, through bars, over bars, on top of bars, all that kind of stuff. And what is the youngest age that people can participate in parkour here at Empire? Our classes start at age four up to however old. I've had, I've had people as old as I think almost 50 in classes. Almost 50? <laughs> I know a guy, his name's Tony, and he uh, loves to do things like this. Okay. And so it's his dream. So he could sign up. Like yeah, he's Tony, come on. Yeah, he's, you know, we, we won't say that he's really old. We'll just say that he's a lot older than me. That's, <laughs> uh, but yeah, anybody can do it. Honestly, yeah. People, people see that version of parkour on the internet that's kind of heightened, where you see guys throwing themselves off of buildings or, or whatever. We don't, we don't really condone that or advertise that. We start at ground level. Safety is always yeah, our number one concern. First. Absolutely. We teach you how to fall before we teach you how to jump so that we can mitigate injuries and just make sure everyone continues to have a good time and enjoy some longevity in the sport too. We want, we want you to keep doing parkour. So. Tony's really good at falling, so he's got that That's part That's a good then. start. Tony, let's try it. <laughs> so where can people find you online? Yeah, what, what are we talking? Facebook, Instagram, the Facebook, website? Facebook, Instagram, website, those are the big three. Uh, we have a YouTube channel as well where we try to put out content that we make in the gym but also in some other communities we go to visit. Um, we try to put out some educational content as well. What kind of shoes to wear to I was going to say, that's the first video I saw, is what kind of shoes. And yeah, then I realized that we didn't popular, have the right shoes. Our most popular video on our YouTube channel is a shoe, a shoe video. Nice. <laughs> All right, well, we are going to go and uh, check out some of the coaches doing some sweet parkour, and you can tell us all about that. And uh, if you haven't been to Empire, come down here now. It is awesome. All right. Parkour skills are fairly adaptable, so the skills you learn in level one can take you all the way up to level five, which is our last level for students. The only thing that changes is the level of difficulty in terms of where we put the skills and how high up they get and how far they get. <laughs> All right, we've got Coach Lucas on the bar here. Let's see what he's doing. So we're going with lache hurdle plyo precision. So a lache is simply just a swing and a let go of a bar moving forward. A hurdle is just like it says, you're basically just jumping over something. And then we go back to the plyo jump that we did over here. So you're gonna land on two feet. And instead of stopping, they're immediately going to try to jump and carry that momentum forward 
ending in that precision jump where the momentum stops and they have to hold it and control it for two seconds. Gavin's gonna give it a try here. Lache, plyo, precision. Let's see if Jordan gets it. Cut back, pre. There we go. And with a flip for good measure. If you look at all these boxes here, they have colored lines on them. Those are actually lines for precisions. So when we're teaching these to our students, the lines are to indicate where you're supposed to land. So you always want your feet behind the colored line and that'll enforce that position where your heels are hanging off the edge. Okay, Jordan with a new set. <laughs> so, let's map this out. This is a stride cat to a climb up. Now, Gavin and Jordan both made that climb up to the top look really easy, but that is actually one of the hardest moves to learn in parkour. We've been all trying to learn this move for years, and we've only fairly recently gotten it to the point where we can all climb up fairly consistently. So with this one, you're jumping off of one foot, that's a stride. Then from that jump, you have to go to that cat hang that we did down there. Then, immediately from the, climb, from the cat hang, you have to jump up to your hands, kick your feet up, and get your feet on top. Grady struggled a little bit there, but he pulled it through. All right, Coach Miriam's out, push. All right, very good. The climb up is sort of seen as like the pinnacle of parkour strength. If you can do a perfect climb up, you can pretty much do anything else in parkour. Well, thanks, Tyler. For everything Empire Parkour, visit empireparkour.ca or find them on Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube. Next speed competition coming up Saturday, November 26th, Empire Parkour, 103 Marquis Court in Saskatoon.